Is it ever okay to take a sign to school with you that reads, I am a 23-year-old single male searching for an 18 to 23-year-old female companion who I can love and trust, and to hold that sign up in hopes that it will bring to you a boyfriend-free girl? Is that ever okay? What do you think? Let me know. Today we're going to learn all about Chris Chan's love signs that he took to school and we're going to find out if it was okay or not. In the past, I've kind of said, hey, I don't really see what's so... He, he wanted to hold up his sign. Hey, he's advertising himself. That's marketing, baby. Hey, but today we're going to learn all about it. And at the end, I want to know what you think. But you have to wait until the end. Let's get started. Child lock your baby. Come get your match. Seven shot, daddy, baby. Welcome back. The Starship Lockjaw, your daily source for internet subculture. Today, my friends, we're continuing our Christian playlist, which we haven't touched on in a while, but we're picking it back up today. Uh, the entire playlist, we've got hours upon hours upon hours. Way too much of this stuff. It's in the comments if you want to learn more. But if you don't know who Christian is, you're going to learn a little bit today because he's a young man. He was a young man who the internet really, really, really took over his life in a bad way. A lot of bad folks on the internet who had a lot of fun messing with him and it went deeper and it went deeper and it went deeper and it took a serious toll on Christian's mind. Today we're learning about the attraction signs. Let's begin. The only reasonable and inexpensive idea that he could ever think of. Now that says that that was Chris talking in third person. I guess that's a quote that he said. So the attraction sign was used by Chris during his love quest to get the attention of boyfriend free girls. Now, the love quest, we've learned a lot about the love quest. It was, he wanted a girlfriend, man. A lot of people want girlfriends. A lot of girls want boyfriends. You know, people want someone. And his love quest was, was such a, such a journey, such a, such an effort, but it just never really turned out the way that Christian wanted it to. Uh, an early version, it said, I am this many year old male seeking an 18 to blank year old single woman. But more information about Chris and demands about his partner soon found their way onto the sign. Ah, so this is what happened with the sign. I guess he ended up putting things on it that were a little too um, picky, and I guess that upset people. Let's see here. We're going to actually be looking at the signs very soon here. Uh, so the sign, Mark 1. The original sign, created in 2003, when Chris first started his love quest at the age of 21, is perhaps the most notable and amusing of them all. It read, 21 and single white male. Shy, smart, young at heart, computer skilled, humorous, a great thinker, and go-getter, a natural salesperson, enjoys good parts of life, diplomatic and friendly, loves his family, peaceful, very creative, he's lonely, seeking an 18 to, well that right there, that sounds good dude, that's some good advertising man, that nice dude, uh, seeking a cute 18 to 21 year old single female companion, 18 to 21 years of age, does not already have a boyfriend. She must be single. That's right. We want her to be a boyfriend-free girl. Right, Chris? Average to slender weight and body type. Uh, white. Oh, he put white on there. Yeah, that's kind of going get, to get you in trouble because, like, that's basically in public. You know, come on. Yeah, you should have known not to put that on there, brother. Uh, lives in Charlottesville or Rutgersville. Uh, does not smoke or drink. Alcohol. Happy, positive personality. Average to high income. Drives a vehicle. He's like, I ain't messing with no broke girl. I ain't messing with no broke girl. All right. Nice. Okay. Um, let's blow that sign up here. We've, I've got all of the signs. Here we go. 21 and single white male. Yeah. I like the... It rem reminds me of like projects in, in school. Remember when you had to put those things on the... Oh, let's not talk about school. Oh, all right. Seeking a cute 18 to 21 year old. Oh, look, he even got the Sonichu on there. Nice. If you don't know this, Sonichu is Chris Chan's original character, original creation. Very cool. It's a blend of kind of taking, um, taking, taking inspiration from Sonic, the Hedgehog, and Pikachu, the Pokemon. If any, uh, what does that say? Men read this huge sign, mind your own business. Ah, okay. He wanted men to stay away. Yeah. I mean, hey, if you, if you want to take that sign to school and hold it up, I just don't understand what's so wrong with that. Let him hold that sign up, man. He might have some cute girl come along and say, that's cute. You know what? I'll go out with you. And he can say, yeah, let's go out. Let me show you a good time. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, continuing on. Oh, and there's a picture of Christian holding the sign up at school. Yeah. Hey, man. Gotta advertise, right? Uh, image of Sonichu's face. 
Oh, that's right. If any men see this huge sign, mind your own business. And to all men with girlfriends, go jump off a cliff. Ouch! Did we really have to have that in there? Yeah, I don't think we should have had that on there. That's not very nice, Chris. Come on, brother. They don't need to jump off a cliff. I think that right there is his anger, though, right? He's, he's upset, right? He's getting kind of mad, and he's jealous, right? Jealous of that. Yeah, that'll take control of your life. Don't let that consume you. <laughs> have a nice day, smiley face. Chris had other ideas beyond signs, but said that newspaper and magazine ads, online dating sites, uh, video dating services, to name a few, they cost money. Yeah. Newspaper and magazine ads. Uh, what if somebody ran like a Facebook ad saying, hey, I'm looking for a girlfriend. They put their, someone should do that. Why doesn't someone do that? Do that. That's a good idea. Someone should totally do that. That'll be so funny. <laughs> you pay like 10 bucks and there will be thousands and thousands of, I should start doing that for people and charging them. If you want that done for you, let me know. I will, we will make it happen. I'm a genius. That's my, that's my big idea. All right. Don't tell anybody I said shh. All right. Um, so here we go. Let's continue. Let's continue. The sign in college. Many variations on the sign were produced when Chris was in college. Facebook probably has a rule against something like that. Ah, always. They always find a way to always. The sign in college. Many variations on the sign were produced when Chris was in college, chiefly because Mary Lee Walsh kept confiscating them. Now, Mary Lee Walsh, she was the dean, I believe, of the of the of the college he was at, and she was always giving him a hard time. She just wouldn't cut him a break. She wouldn't cut him any slack. Mary Lee Walsh, why didn't you leave Christian alone? She's taking his love signs. He probably would have had a sweetheart by now if it hadn't been for Mary Lee Walsh. During this time. Chris waged war by creating MySpace and Facebook accounts, then printing new signs and plastering them all over campus, only to be torn down in turn by Mary. Regardless of Mary's efforts, the sign required updating annually, since the requisite age of the boyfriend-free girl was invariably 18, to whatever Chris's age was at the time. The <laughs> That's like when they say, you get older, but they keep staying the same age. Have you ever heard that? No, never mind. The attraction sign shows a difficult time in Chris's life where he advertised his love in the same way you would advertise selling a car. Right, exactly, exactly. Uh, okay, so we've got the love signs right here. Let's go ahead and look at each of these individually here. So this was the first one that we looked at. That was, uh, I guess that was like the, that was the Mark one right there, huh? Continuing on. Uh, one girlfriend, please. One girlfriend, please, please. I am a 22 year old boy seeking an 18 to blank year old girl. Boyfriend free girl. I am lonesome. Yeah, a lot of people are lonely, man. A lot of people are lonely, man. We've all been lonely. Lo being lonely ain't no joke, brother. Yeah. Uh, continue on. That's a good sign, though. Nothing bad about that sign, huh? Let him hold that sign up. Let him hold it up. Uh, let me be careful, though, because people got mad at me last time I said the signs were okay. They said, no, that's wrong. You should not be doing that. So just let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Uh, and I'm not saying you're wrong if you think that he shouldn't have been holding the sign up. How to attract an 18 to blank year old companion without saying hi for the very shy man. Ah, by, uh, by what? What is that name? All right. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. What else we got here? I am a 23-year-old single male searching for an 18 to 23-year-old female companion who I can trust, who I can love and trust. Nice. That's a really good sign. I mean, look, here's the thing. If there was a girl at school holding up signs like this, right, uh, the guys would be flocking to her, right? They would be flocking to her. They would. They would, man. And she could look pretty much anyway, and they would all be running up to her. But then when Chris Chan did it, the girls didn't want to have anything to do with them. Oh, man, come on, brother. Let him hold up that sign, baby. Continuing on. And then what do we have here? I am serious. I want an 18 to 22-year-old boyfriend-free woman. I am as sad, lonely, and single as a 22-ounce bottle of Pepsi. That's pretty sad, lonely, and single. Bottle of Pepsi. Dang. Uh, was it Diet Pepsi? <laughs> Coke Zero? All right, Sonic Chew, uh, one girlfriend, please. So he was, okay, if he was plastering these little trinkets and what have you all over the school, I can understand why that would be. Yeah, because then you're kind of just, like, you can't be putting these up everywhere, man. You can hold your sign, but you can't be putting these all up all over the place, man. <laughs> was that, is, that what, is that what he was doing? Was he really, like, putting them up all over the school? Okay, continuing on. 
Uh, so he was discouraged by Barb, who's his, his mother. His mother, Barb, she discouraged him, and he retired the sign sometime before August of 2009. During all this, I learned from my mother that the sign made me look dumb, and eventually I did away with it. Yeah. Uh, in spite of this, the sign would soon make its return in various incarnations. I'm wondering why his mom discouraged him holding the sign. Uh... Because it makes him look dumb. No, I just, I don't know. She should have said, hey, do it, Chris Chan. But Chris Chan, you want to hold that sign up? Do it. Maybe it'll work. Because it could have worked. It could have worked. It could have. Uh, it could have. All right, return of the sign. July of 2010, Chris attempted to attract a woman at a local firework celebration by wrapping a note around a small rock and throwing it at her. Sometimes you just gotta try different things, uh, but no, yeah, you shouldn't be throwing rocks at people, man. This caused <laughs> this caused some to assume Chris was beginning to devolve into some sort of a caveman. Yeah, no, we can't be doing that. I'm, hey, if the rock was big enough and it knocked her out, then you can drag her to the cave, right? I'm just that's a joke. That's a joke. Um, yeah, I can't be throwing rocks, babe. Can't be throwing rocks. <laughs> can you picture that? Like he puts his little note on the rock and she, ow. <laughs> And he kind of waves at her, and she's just like, who are you? I'm Christian. All right, on July 2010, Chris again <laughs> harasses the poor women of Charlottesville at the Fridays After Five gathering with a new sign that read, Friendly and Flirty Man Zone. Ooh, friendly and flirty? Damn, brother. He also employed a portable minifan and a hula hoop in what seemed to be a misguided attempt to look fun and cool. Yeah, the minifan and the hula hoop. Those get you some points, baby. You got the mini fan hanging around your neck and you got the hula hoop. Like, that'll win you some points, baby. What are we talking about here? That, that still didn't work? Uh, in a February 2012 Facebook status update, Chris mentioned that he plans to wear a sign around his neck that says, If you like me, tell me. Whether or not he actually did this was never documented, but knowing Chris, he most likely did. What's wrong with that, man? You could wear a shirt, too. Like, what if people wore shirts that said, I'm single, want to date or something? I bet you people might, it might work, man. You never know. It, most people definitely wouldn't want to wear that in public, though. I wouldn't blame you. Yeah, yeah. Come back. On April 2012, Facebook status revealed uh, that Chris plans to go back to his roots and pursuing women with the public sign. Ah, this time is too great. And these are grave, desperate times. I am going to start going back to Fashion Square Shopping Center in Charlottesville, Virginia, with my sign and going into my sweetheart search. He later revealed in another note that he was lying in a baffling attempt to troll the trolls. The trolls, you guys, the trolls destroyed Christian's life. That's what trolls online can do. They can ruin your life. I don't want that to happen to you, my friends. I don't. I've seen it. I've seen it many times. And that's why coming up here, we're gonna go, we're gonna do some more content on Chris Chan, learning ways he could have gone about handling things differently so that the trolls would not have done this to him. I've seen it happen to a lot of folks. I don't want to see it happen to you. All right. I believe in you. Much love and blessings to you. If you're new, you should subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. We're we're just getting started. Playlist, hours long. It is pinned in the comments. Uh, hey, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed yourself, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Peace and chicken grease.